Do you know about the slope of a line? First, let's take a look at what we're talking about when we talk about slope. This hill has a slope. It has a steepness. If you're coming up, it has one kind of steepness. And if you're coming down, it has another kind of steepness. Slope has to do with the steepness of a line. Again, slope is the steepness of a line. And you can measure the slope, and you can figure out if you have a positive slope or a negative slope. Let's take a look. Here's a hill. And you can see that there is a vertical rise here of 20 meters, and there's a horizontal rise here of 5 kilometers. Now, we can actually figure out the slope of this hill by looking at the relationship between the rise and the run. The slope of a line is figured out when you divide the rise by the run. Take a minute to write this down in your notebook. Now let's look at what we know. The rise equals 20 meters and the run equals 5 kilometers. Let's write this so that we can figure out the slope of this line, or in this case, of the hill. Here we have the rise of 20 divided by the run of 5. This has a slope of 4 to 1, which means that for every 4 meters, there's 1 kilometer. This is the slope of the hill. Let's look at another one. Here's a line that has been graphed. Notice that in this example we have a rise of 3 and a run of 1. The slope of this line is 3 over 1. Here's another line that has been graphed. Let's take a look at how to figure out the slope of this line. This might seem a little tricky because you're not quite sure which point to start with. We're always going to start with the leftmost coordinate, and that is 6. So notice, to do the rise, we're actually going down 6. So our rise is a negative value, negative 6. Then we're going towards the positive here, and we're going positive 4. So the run is positive 4. Here's the slope. We can write it as negative 6 over 4, but now we need to simplify that. We can say that the slope is negative 3 halves, or negative 1 and 1 half. Look at the direction of the line. You can see that the line moves from left to right. This is a negative slope. Starting at that left point, you can never go wrong. Let's look at another one. Here we have a line graph, and we want to figure out what the slope of the line is. There isn't a specific point designated, so where do we begin? Well, let's choose a point on the line that is in the leftmost area of the line. I'm going to choose this point. Now, notice that we go across to the positive and up to another point on the line. There it is. So we have a rise of positive 4, and we have a run of positive 4 as well. Here's the slope of the line. We put the rise over the run and divide. This line has a slope of positive 1. You can also notice that this slope goes, this line goes up from left to right. This is a positive slope. 